Hey, this is Willie Crawford, and uh, I wanted to make a quick uh, video uh, right now to show you how I create HTML redirects. Uh, actually, they're HTML redirects code in PHP. Uh, and the reason I do that is because a lot of times I want to tell somebody about a product or service, and uh, the URL that I need to give them is too long and so I want something that's simple and so uh, let me give you an example right now I'm getting ready to set up a page recommending an Amazon product the Amazon product is a book a Kindle book by my friend Sherry Rose called the webinar way so I went over to Amazon and I looked at the book and um, the book itself is seven dollars ninety nine cents on Amazon. It's only available in Kindle. I I read the book, really liked it, and I wanted to recommend it to a couple people. So I I am an affiliate of Amazon.com, and I while it's not critical that I earn the commission, I thought why not give them a simple link to refer uh, to to recommend the book to them and set up so that I can use that link in the future to um, earn commissions perhaps. And so. I went to Amazon and because I'm an affiliate I grabbed my affiliate link and this is my affiliate link now you know it's a bit of a pain to pass that along to people I can, I, can, I can send it in an email I can do a lot of things with it but it's a lot simpler to do it the way I'm going to do it what I do is I copy the, the URL to the product my affiliate link in Amazon up, up across the top of the page let me see if I have that um, uh, yeah. Here's Amazon.com. Here's the book, The Webinar Way. If you're an affiliate for Amazon, across the top of your page, you see links, link to this page, add to widget, add to store, share on Facebook. So I could click that and just share it on Facebook, and I've done that a hundred times. Uh, but I wanted to link to the page and, and pass that link along. So I click link to page. I clicked link to page, and it gave me this. And I thought, okay, I just want to send them a text link. So I clicked this and it gave me this box with all this stuff in it well when I looked at this box this ahref equals this part here is the URL and it goes all the way to uh, where the brackets close in the HTML code right here so that's the part that I wanted to use and then this is just the verbiage where it says the webinar way the single most effective way to promote your service da 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 that's what shows up on a web page when you paste this code into it in the HTML code, and then when somebody watched the web page, they see uh, what's shown here. Uh, so I, I copied that code, and that is what's here. This is this is just Notepad. I copied over Notepad. So now I want to take this code and embed it into a web page, and I want to and I want the URL for that web page to be my domain, WillieCrawford.com forward slash the webinar way, so that I can just in talking to somebody say I really recommend Sherry's book. Uh, to get it, go to uh, WillieCrawford.com forward slash the webinar way. Capitalize the T, the W, and the W in the webinar way. The first uh, letter of each of those. So, you know, WillieCrawford.com forward slash the webinar way. And so I give that URL out rather than this long URL here. But to set up, set up so people can just type that URL into their browser bar and go to it. I need to copy this URL, and then I need to set up an HTML redirect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a, a directory on my website where on my website WillieCrawford.com where the folder is named the webinar way. And in that folder, the only thing I'm going to put is one file, which will be an index.php file. And that index.php file will have some code in the top of it, the only code in it really, that tells it whenever somebody opens that file to automatically redirect them to this page. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the way I'm going to do that is I've copied this this link and now I'm going to uh, go into a folder where I, I have a, a bunch of files uh, in a folder that I call my, my folders named frequently used because I use it so much. And I go there and, and you need to open any text file. You need to open the text file initially in, in that folder or in any text file any, anywhere really and I use Notepad, and once you have that text file open, okay, now, now you want to navigate to a PHP file um, that I'll show you. So I'm going to go open, and you can see here I'm in my frequently used folder, and what I'm looking for is a PHP file, and these are all. Let me you, in Notepad. You want where it says uh, file name here, and it says 
this is a typo file you don't want to be looking for a text file you want to be looking for a PHP file so select all and it will show you the PHP files I'm using Dreamweaver so this is the way Dreamweaver displays Dreamweaver is my default uh, HTML editor so anything in this folder shows the Dreamweaver symbol but I know that these file this file is a PHP file this is an HTML file this is a text file and I'm looking for a PHP file so um, these are all PHP files. I can open any of these files and do what I'm going to do but I'm just going to go back up top because I'm going to open the, this one. Inside the PHP file this is, this is a text file that you saved as PHP and all you have in that file really is um, this tells the browser and the web server that this is a PHP file and in the header it says basically what this says is whenever somebody opens this file on, on a web page send them here so this URL here um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you this this I'm gonna give you a file and let you download it and, uh, and then you can just edit it uh, in a text editor but all you're gonna edit is this you're gonna highlight the URL and I hit backspace to get rid of it and I've copied that URL from from uh, Amazon so I'm gonna paste that I hit control uh, V for paste and uh, so now I've pasted what it says is whenever it says this is a PHP file whenever somebody opens this file redirect them to this link and that's the URL and it has to be that way it has to have the single quote location colon um, I think it's two spaces a space um, uh, actually it's one space and then it starts the URL and then it's got a colon afterwards I'm sorry close it's got a, a, a quote after a space and then a um, parentheses space and a semicolon and and basically you can I'll, I'll give you this in a I'll, I'll link to this in a text file from uh, YouTube I'll have it right there in the description so you can download this text file and um, just copy it and then save it as a PHP file and you're good to go so let me minim let me um make this smaller okay one what you're gonna do though is to take take the text file I'm, I'm gonna give you I'm linking to it in my YouTube description so you can if you don't have one you can just copy it and um, you paste the URL here now you're gonna save this file you go file save as now we want to save this file as a PHP file but because we're in notepad notepad defaulting to a text document I don't want to save it to a text document I want to save it as a PHP document so select all files okay now uh, I'm gonna save this file in a directory called the webinar way and it's gonna be the index file so I'm gonna just name this file uh, the webinar way and I'm gonna put a dash and then I'm gonna tell myself basically that this is the index.php file so this is the title I'm giving this file but because I ended it in .php here and because I'm saving as type all files it backed away from that for some reason when I save it as all files and give it this file name that ends in .php it's gonna save it as a .php file so let me copy the file name because I'm going to use that a couple places. Um, I'm going to save it. I'm, I'm saving the webinar way dash index.php and I'm saving it under all files. So, um, and I'm saving it in my folder frequently used because I use this folder a lot. So, save it and it's saved. And I don't really need this this file anymore. This is the file. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload a file for you to look at that'll be very similar to this one. It'll, it'll I'll give you a shorter URL here, but you're basically gonna replace this and you're gonna save the file as whatever file name you want to use index.php. And I hope you, you can watch this video several times and you'll see the logic behind what I'm doing. I I do this in like two minutes, uh, honestly, but I'm taking my time and explaining it to you right now. So uh, hopefully you you get it and. Uh, Feel free to watch this as many times as you want, and even ask me questions. I'll um, I'll link to my help desk or something. You can feel free to ask me questions. I'm I'm accessible because I like working with people and helping people. That turns those people into my customers eventually. Okay, so what I did was I had this long URL here, and I wanted to shorten it, so I created a. I am going to create a directory on my 
my domain willycrawford.com that directory will be named the webinar way and in that directory the only file I have is one I just created which is an index.php file it's the index page in that directory uh, and so whenever somebody types in this this willycrawford.com forward slash the webinar way they'll be automatically redirected to this Amazon link okay now here's how we're going to do that um, first of all you need to go to your uh, your, your your control panel in your web hosting account now mine is a little different than probably yours uh, I, I just go to uh, my, my um, domain and the control panel is under menu and, and here I can uh, manage files and change passwords and manage mail and all those things if you're on a HostGator account you'll have a C panel which will look different you can also use FTP uh, but basically you're going to create a directory within your website and then you're going to upload the index file and, and that's all you're really doing so I, I use my file manager uh, you could use FTP and, and now you need to create a new directory however you do that in your web hosting account uh, with mine it's so simple I just go to create directory I want to name that directory the webinar way okay so that's why I copied that, that File name the webinar way forward slash index.php. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm creating a directory the webinar way. Now, what this directory is is what I'm going to pass along to somebody. I'm pa remember, I'm passing along willycrawford.com forward slash the webinar way. Okay, so I'm, the webinar way is the directory and it is case sensitive. Anything after your domain name and the top level domain the dot com is case sensitive. So if, if I Said to somebody on a on a webinar or a phone call, go to willacroft.com forward slash the webinar way, and they type the webinar way in lowercase. That won't work. So you need to make sure they know to capitalize the in this case the T, the W, and the W. And whenever I'm talking to somebody, I'll tell them that. But this is case sensitive. Okay. So I created this directory, the webinar way, and you can see in my willacroft.com hosting account, I've got all these folders. That's because I do this a lot. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the webinar way. I'm going to find it. It's a folder. And uh, my hosting account, like most, will list them in alphabetical order. I could tell do it by um, creation date or some other thing, but see the webinar way, the webinar way. And I open this folder. Okay, now I'm inside this folder, and if you're using an FTP program, you navigate that folder and you then find that file that we created, uh, the webinar way for slash uh, the webinar way dash index .php. So I'm going to do that now. I'm in this directory the webinar way and I want to upload the file uh, that I created so with my uh, control panel I just select um, upload file and then I have that folder remember frequently used because I use it all the time like 10 times a day so I find frequently used and remember I created uh, a file uh, the webinar way for slash index.php Okay. And you may you know you can make notes yourself if you can't remember all the stuff, but I, I, I do this off. You can see all these files that I have created here. So uh, you know, so I scroll down to the webinar way and the webinar way da 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 it's T the webinar way. Come in the T's the web okay. This is the file, the webinar way forward slash index dot php. Okay. So I'm gonna select this file. And over here, my control panel or your FTP program will say here's the file you selected the webinar way forward slash index.php this is going to be the directory name that you're going to be using forward slash index.php if you do it the way I do it okay so this file is selected now I'll go over here and it says file name to be saved as that's so what I want to save this as I want to save it as index.php because I'm saving it already in the directory I'm already in the directory the webinar way and I just want to save this one file as index.php the only file in this directory is index.php okay and so I say upload it says files upload was successful and what I did was I uploaded that file to my domain name willycrawford.com and I named that file I uploaded it to willycrawford.com in a directory the webinar way and I named it index.php so if I type in willycrawford.com forward slash the webinar way uh, it should take me right to that file so 
because I'm going to be giving this out on webinars and things like that, I'm just going to copy it and make sure that I've spelled it right and everything else. So I'm copying willycrawford.com forward slash the webinar way, and I have a closing slash. It's on some server that's not necessary, but it doesn't hurt anything. All it says is this is is the directory when you close, put that closing slash. So I've copied willycrawford.com forward slash the webinar way. I go back to my browser. I can have any window. I'm just going to open a, a new window. It shows it a Google default. And I'm going to put, paste in my URL. What I'm doing now is testing that I've set this up properly. Uh, again, I can do I do this in like two minutes. You know, basically, I grab the URL I want, I uh, paste it into uh, a PHP file I've used before using a text editor, and then I save it as the directory name dash index.php. I go over to my server, I, I create that directory. I upload the file as an index.php file and bam, I'm good to go. So that's what I just did. I uploaded uh, the webinar way forward slash index.php and I named it index.php once I uploaded to the, the uh, server. So theoretically, when I hit the enter button, it's going to take me to this page, um, this page on my server, which is willycrawford.com forward slash the webinar way, and that page is going to automatically redirect me to amazon.com. And so now you test it. Hit enter, and my browser says, "Boom!" Right through WillieCrawford.com, redirect them to this page where you can pick up Sherry's book, The Webinar Way. This is Willie. I've rambled long enough. Watch this as many times as you need to to get down how to do it. But it's a very simple process, and once you have done it a couple times, uh, you can do it in like under five minutes easily. Like I said, I can do it under two minutes. I, I'm an affiliate marketer and often I want to recommend a product or service and I don't want to give a long link or I want to cloak the affiliate link. Uh, the reason that I cloak affiliate links is often if I'm promoting the same product a lot of other people are promoting, uh, a lot of those other people get too aggressive in their promotions. They get somewhat spammy in their tactics and when that happens, people start complaining uh, to spam monitoring agencies and those spam monitoring agencies will blacklist the URL that's used in the emails that are complained about so all of a sudden that product I'm promoting if I use the domain name of the product creator uh, my email won't get through because that domain name has been blacklisted so I use my own domain name and redirect through that so when so my email gets through because I'm using a domain name within the email that's not blacklisted and when somebody clicks on that link using the email they're sent to the proper um, place like somebody clicked on a willycrawford.com URL in this case and they were sent to amazon.com and if Amazon was blacklisted my email would still work as, a, as an affiliate marketer that's why I, I cloak uh, URLs most often anyway this is Willie I am going to put a um, a uh, text uh, file right within the description uh, here on YouTube and you can download that and edit that to um, create those PHP files. And all you do is save the text file as a PHP file. Uh, if you you know watch the video as many times as you need to to get that down. But once you get it down, you'll 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 love doing things the way that I do them. I, I've been doing this for 18 years as, as an affiliate marketer, and uh, this is my favorite way to cloak and create redirect links. So again, Willie Crawford, thank you for listening.